Hi friends, thank you for joining me this week. I'm sorry, I know it's been a long time since I've done a video, but I wanted to let you know, um, the reason why I kind of took a, a, a hiatus is because I needed some definite rest for myself. And I've also been pursuing other things in my life. I just finished my bachelor's degree in holistic health and nutrition. So I'm a certified natural health practitioner, yay! And I have also landed a couple of really cool jobs that are geared along natural healing. So it's been quiet of an eventful five weeks for myself. I've also um, stopped, uh, if you've been following me on Rumble, I've had some issues with uh, the music in the background for Rumble. Uh, I do own the licenses of these um, the, of the music that I put in the background, but for some reason, Rumble isn't approving my videos. Uh, whatever, it's just a it's been an ongoing thing. So for those of you that have been watching Rumble, um, this will be the first video that I put up in several weeks, and I hope you enjoy it. I will not have a background music to it, just because of their sketchy things that are going on there. Anyway. Let's go ahead and get settled in to our practice today. Today's going to be a really short practice. It's going to be about 20 minutes long and it's just going to be a nice vinyasa flow to get the body moving and get some energy moving inside of our bodies, kind of wake up uh, the body a little bit. And uh, let's go ahead, uh, as always, start with a block underneath our sit bones. Now, for some of you that may be new to this, uh, one of the reasons why I like to use a block underneath the sit bones is, is because it really helps to lengthen the spine and it really prevents you from slumping in or rolling in your shoulders. So, pressing the sit bones into the mat or into the block, we're gonna go ahead and get settled into this seat here. So let's go ahead and tilt the po pelvis forward a little bit. Tilt the pelvis back a little bit. What we're trying to do here is we're trying to find the natural posture of the sit bone. Let's go ahead and make the movements smaller. Kind of find that nice little sweet spot where both sit bones are planted into the mat or the block. Let's go ahead and lengthen in through the spine. So lengthening the spine, crown of the head reaching towards the sky, shoulders slightly up and back. Let's close our eyes down and let's bring our hands to our knees with our palms facing up. We're gonna start by taking a few conscious breaths. And what we're gonna do here is we are gonna inhale for four counts, ex inhale for four counts, hold for two, and exhale for six. Let's go ahead and during, before I start it, let's focus on our drinking in that breath and drinking it all the way down to the pit of our tummy, feeling our lungs expand 360 degrees all the way around. So let's go ahead and exhale all the hair, air out. And inhale. One, two, three, four, hold, exhale, one, two, three, four, five, six, inhale, one, two, three, four, hold, and exhale, one, two, three, four, five, six. Now let's go ahead and do this on our own count for two more breath cycles.
Last exhale here. Let's go ahead and flutter our eyes open. Now what we're gonna do is let's go ahead and take some, take your hands to your knees. And let's go ahead and make some organic movements here with the spine. Use spinal twists, bringing the chest back, bringing the chest forward. You can even bring your head into the mix here. Now let's go ahead and reverse it and go the opposite direction. Coming back to a neutral spine. Now we're going to take <clears throat> the palm of our hands at the base of our palm. Go ahead and I, sh I should say the heel of our palm. Place it into the crease of the upper thigh where the thigh meets the torso. And we're gonna press down, creating more length in the spine, drawing the crown of the head up towards the sky, keeping the neck long. Inhale here. And on exhale, we're gonna twist over to the right as the gaze follows. Inhale here, coming back to center and exhaling over to the left. Inhale, coming back to center and exhaling over to the right. Inhale here and exhale over to the left. Let's go ahead and release. Come back to a neutral spine and we are going to move the block that we are sitting on and you might want to go ahead and keep the block up at the top of the mat because I'm going to show you a couple of moves that you can utilize your block later on in the sequence. So let's go ahead and come into tabletop. Make sure that your shoulders are over your wrists and your hips are over your knees. And what we're going to do is let's just make some organic movements with the spine. Kind of feeling into the moment, feeling if there's any adhesion here in your spine, any tightness. It's nice to make natural organic movements just to check in with your body. Right, let's go ahead and come into a tabletop. And what we're gonna do here is we're gonna do a few cat and cow, but we're gonna start at the base of the spine, okay? So on an inhale, we're gonna shift and we're going to um, tilt our sit bones up towards the sky. As our stomach reaches down or our tummy reaches down to the mat, heart reaches through the shoulders, throat is open, gaze is up. On an exhale here, we're gonna tuck, starting at the tailbone, Tucking that tailbone towards the belly button, pushing the ground away, rounding the back, rounding the shoulders as the chin comes to the chest. Inhale here, starting at the pelvis, sit bones reaching up towards the sky. Tummy starts to reach down towards the mat as the heart reaches through the shoulders, throat opens, gazes up. Exhale, tucking the tailbone towards the belly button, pushing the ground away, rounding those shoulders as the chin meets the chest. Now let's go ahead and do this two more times at our own breath cycle and our own count. Inhaling. On an exhale, let's go ahead and come back to neutral. Now we're gonna get ready for our first downward facing dog for the day. So let's go ahead and tuck those toes. And on an inhale, we're gonna shift the hips up and back. And let's go ahead and pedal into our first downward dog for the day. Oh, healing. Where there might be some adhesion in the body. 
I can feel it in my shoulder blades. Ah, uh, all right. Make sure that you're not dumping all the weight into your hands and that you are clawing into the mat, that you're creating kind of a, kind, not kind of, you're creating a little tent underneath your palms here. I think I've used this analogy before. Pretend that you have a ladybug under each palm and you don't want to crush her. Hmm. We can go ahead and inhale, coming to our tippy toes, and we can shift our heels over to the right. Seeing how that changes the stretch. Inhale, and shift over to the left. And let's go ahead and come back to neutral. On your next inhale here, we're gonna lift the right leg into tripod dog. You really wanna reach from the inner part of the thigh, keeping a slight micro bend in the left knee. On exhale, we're gonna bring that knee to the nose. Inhale, shifting back into tripod dog. And our next exhale, we're gonna step all the way through. So on an exhale here, bringing the knee to the nose, shifting the body forward, stepping in between the hands into dropping that back knee and we're gonna go into a low lunge, shifting the heart forward as the gaze is forward as well. On your next inhale, lifting that back knee and taking a big step forward as the left foot meets the right foot. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. And here you can utilize your blocks or you can place your hands on your shins. And you wanna make sure that you are bringing your shoulders up and back, crown of the head reaching forward, and your um, belly button is coming towards your spine. And your next exhale, planting the hands, we're gonna step back into downward facing dog. Inhale here, lifting the left leg <laughs> into tripod dog. Keeping a slight micro bend in the right knee. Exhale, knee to nose. Inhale, tripod dog, keeping the hips square. And on your next exhale, knee to nose, shifting the body forward, stepping through with the left leg. Now what I'm going to do here is I'm going to show you guys how you can utilize your block as well. And be here. So from tripod dog here on your exhale, you're going to bring your knee to your nose and you're going to shift the body forward as you step through in between your hands and see how it creates a little bit more space for you to make that that transition mood. From here, we're gonna drop the back knee, shifting the heart forward, gazes forward, low lunge. On your next inhale, we're gonna lift that right knee off the mat and take a big step forward as the right foot meets the left. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Crown of the head reaching forward, tucking that tummy towards the spine. Exhale, fold. Planting the hands. Let's go ahead and come back into downward facing dog. And we're gonna add on a little bit here. So on an inhale here, we're gonna inhale to tripod dog. And we're gonna exhale, knee to the nose as we step through into a low lunge, keeping your back knee off the mat. Now make sure that your feet are on train tracks here because we're gonna come up into a crescent lunge and uh, you will have more stability if your feet are on train tracks versus being in line with each other. So on your next inhale, coming up to crescent lunge. Drawing back on the right hip crease, drawing forward on the left hip crease. And you're also going to be pressing that heel towards the imaginary wall behind you. 
next inhale go ahead and drop that back heel to the mat keeping your foot at a 45 degree angle you want to make sure that your knee is over the ankle the front knee is over the ankle and in line with that second toe keeping the weight evenly distributed making sure the weight is on the pinky edge of the back foot open up into warrior two reaching with both fingertips drawing the shoulder blades back together inhale here we're going to move that into reverse warrior and i am sliding a little bit so i need to adjust so rainbowing that right arm over as the left fingertips come to the back of the right of the left calf next exhale cartwheel the hands down framing that front foot step back downward facing dog inhale here lifting the left foot to the sky reaching back with those toes keeping a slight micro bend in the right knee exhale knee to nose as we step that left foot in between our hands inhale here chest comes forward gazes forward and keeping the back knee off the mat into a low lunge now remember to keep your feet on train tracks here because our next inhale we're going to come into crescent so exhale here and inhale up to crescent making sure that we're pulling forward on the right hip crease pulling back on the left hip crease keeping those hips square reaching up towards the sky biceps are alongside the ears next inhale go ahead and drop that back heel to the mat keeping the foot at a 45 degree angle remember we're going to evenly just dis distribute the weight here so you want to make sure that the weight is coming on the pinky edge of that back foot inhale open up into warrior two keeping that left knee over the left ankle and it and keeping that knee in line with the second toe inhale here reverse the warrior rainbowing over that left arm gazes up towards the sky as your right fingertips are on the back of the right next exhale we're gonna cartwheel the hands down framing the front foot and we're gonna come back into downward facing dog inhale here coming to our tippy toes we're gonna wave the body forward into plank and you want to make sure that you are pushing that ground away gazes down towards the mat and your heels are reaching towards that imaginary wall behind you. Next exhale, go ahead and bend the knees and shift the hips up and back into downward facing dog. Inhale, coming to the toes, waving the body forward. We're going to come into plank one more time. inhale here exhale and on your next inhale go ahead and drop your knees to the mat and we're going to exhale into child's pose child's pose is such a nice restored restorative pose it really helps you to ground in, feel the body, feel the energy of the body, feel the life force, the prana. And on our next inhale, we're going to sit the hips back on our heels, come to seated on top of our heels. 
But we're going to do this movement really slow. We're going to stack the spine one vertebra at a time. So inhale here as you start to claw back the hands. Taking several breaths, come up to the seated position. Unrolling the spine one vertebra at a time. Head is the last thing to come up onto the shoulders. Ah, oh, that always feels so good. All right. Now from here, let's go ahead and shift our body weight to one side or the other, and we're gonna um, extend our legs long out in front of us. And what we're gonna do here is we're gonna do a nice forward fold. Keeping the feet flexed, toes back towards your face. You wanna make sure that you have a micro bend in your knees here. And on an inhale, we're gonna lift up our arms to the sky. And on an exhale, we're gonna fold at the hips, leading with our heart. Come to as far as you can comfortably um, fold. And on an inhale, we're gonna halfway lift and exhale, fold. Seeing that on your e each fold, if you can go a little bit deeper into this stretch. Inhale, halfway lift, exhale, fold. And let's go ahead and settle in here, relaxing the neck and the head. Next inhale, press your hands into the mat so that you can come back to seated. And we will finish our practice the way that we started. Go ahead and replace the block under your knees. I'm not under your knees. <laughs> replace the block under your sit bones. Coming back into easy seated pose, Sukhasana. Mm. Lengthening the spine to the sky, or lengthening the spine, and the crown of the head is reaching towards the sky. Oh, that felt so good. I hope you feel good too. Got a little bit of fire going and got a little bit of relaxation as well. Nice fluid movements today. Let's go ahead and bring our hands to prayer and heart center. And on inhale, bringing our thumbs to our third eye. As we seal our practice, we'll bow forward and say, Namaste. Mm. Thank you so much for joining me today for this short practice. I hope you got a little bit of movement in your spine here. It felt really good for me. Um, if you enjoy my video, please give me a thumbs up. Leave me some comments below. And don't forget to hit that subscribe button. And if you want to help me stay awake while I am creating my sequences, you could buy me a cup of coffee. I have the link down below. I look forward to seeing you guys next week. I'm sorry again that it was so long before I um, put out a new video, but again, it was something that was needed that needed to be done. So I hope you guys are back and ready to get with it and having a great summer. So I'll see you guys next week. Take care. Bye-bye.